Hello everyone and welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create and manage virtual machines in Windows 11 Hyper-V and in this video I will guide you through that how you can enable Hyper-V in Windows 11 and then how to install the operating system and further manage your VMs within Windows 11 environment. So let's switch to our Windows 11 machine. Well before we begin let's ensure that the Windows 11 Hyper-V is already enabled in this machine because you should know that the Windows Hyper-V is a built-in feature. The Hyper-V is a built-in feature in Windows operating system, but this is limits to Windows 11 Pro, Windows 11 Enterprise, and Education builds. So if you are using the Windows 11 Home version, so you need to upgrade. Now, let's start on how to enable the Hyper-V in Windows 11. You need to do what? You need to type control panel here and there are several ways where you can directly jump to that option but i want to take you to step by step to understand it in a more clear way now here you should find out the programs and features and click on it and here you're going to find run windows feature on or off so let's click on it and it will open this dialog box and here you will start seeing some options and some windows features that are some are available and some are not but that for this specific video we are going to enable the hyper v and how we can use it we will further discuss in the video but before get into the hyper v stuff we need to enable it so that's what we are going to do right now so select the hyper v then click ok and first it will run some visit and searching for the required file then maybe it will go for the restart and then it will give you the hyper-v access on windows 11. now clearly it says that you need to reboot your pc to finish installing the requested changes so let's do it now let's click to the restart now and it will take a while to get the machine access back now our windows 11 machine has been started and all we need to do is to click to the search and we are going to type Hyper-V and it will be available like that and here you can see that the Hyper-V is functional and enabled in our Windows 11 operating system now to create the VM in the Windows Hyper-V manager you need to click right click on the PC name and then hover your mouse on new and select the virtual machine and it's gonna open a visit that you need to complete and you need to just provide the detail as it will be asked on this visit and once you done with the visit you will start seeing your virtual machine has been created then click next and here you can name the virtual machine so we're going to name it JSS test and click next and here you can make your selection like we're going to go with the generation 2 4 gigs we are allocating for this virtual machine and here you can do a little configuration with the network switch so here it says that each virtual machine include a network adapter so you can configure the network adapter to use a virtual switch or it can remain disconnected so we can come to it later on then click next and here it will create the hard drive and it auto selects the directory itself but here we are going to select another directory for that purpose and we have this d drive that we are going to use to store the vm data and the vm hard drives that is going to be vhdx and the size the default size is 127 gigs that's enough click next and here you can pre-select your operating system that you really wanted to install in this machine right now it is windows 7 premium is selected but we can select any other as well and right now we have this windows 11 home premium operating system so let's select to open then click next and there you can see that it is detected the operating system and this is the summary of your vm that is a gss test 
it is going to be Gen 2, 4096. It's like 4 gigs of memory. The network is not connected. Then click Finish. And here it is configuring your VM and inserting the VHDX hard drive to this VM. And now all you need to do is to power on the VM to further install the operating system to this VM. So let's click to start. First, you need to start the VM and then you can connect, or you can connect the VM and then start. And here it requires some key to, to start booting the VM from the operating system disk that you have installed. And here you can see the setup has been started. And let's initiate the installation. And it definitely, you know, you have already if you have already installed the operating system so you already knew that it required few inputs to be done and this time we're going to skip the activation part and here we have two versions the windows 10 pro and the windows 10 home so let's go with the windows 10 pro click next there's some licensing thing that you need to accept click next and we already have the single hard drive of 127 gigs so there's nothing Related to disk management or formatting or you know creating partition, then proceed the installation. It will take a while to install the Windows 10 operating system into your VM, and later on, once this oper operating system installed, then we will further show you how you can manage this VM or you can start, stop, take snapshots on the Microsoft Hyper-V in Windows 11 environment. So you can see that. The Windows 10 operating system has been installed and we have restarted the machine and we are waiting for the response from the machine and then we will show you how you can manage this machine like stopping, restarting the machine and how you can take the screenshot and that will always get you back on the last good configuration. So let's give some time. To this Hyper-V VM to do some initialization before starting the Windows 10. Now, once you complete your installation, you can turn off the VM like that. Like you can click to the action and select the option to turn off your VM. And if you wanted to start the VM, you can right-click to start the VM. Then you can make checkpoints that works like the snapshots, and you can check where your machine has been. You know on that point so let's say if you click to the JSS test and now you can see that we have created a checkpoint so whenever we wanted to switch back things to the last good configuration last known good computer machine response we can go to that specific checkpoint that we have created so it works like the snapshots then you can revert this VM you can export the VM into a file and then you can import the VM on another Hyper-V. Then you can rename the VM and there are a lot more options. You can connect, you can start the VM. And here's the checkpoint option. Then you can share the VM with the other machines or other users over the network. And if you wanted to alter something on the VM, so first you need to do what you need to turn off the VM from here. And once you turn off or shut down the VM, then you could able to customize some settings like the network adapter, hard drive. You can add or you can change the hard drive location. And you can manage the snapshots as well. You can manage the processor thing from here as well. So you can do multiple changes. You can further increase the memory, the RAM. Of this machine so this is up to you and that's how it's going to be done and that's how you can do with your VM on the Hyper-V